Right, so this is just going to be a quick demonstration on how to generate markdown uh, files and then actually render those out. And I'm going to specifically look at rendering them out to a web page. All right, so this is one I've already created. This is actually from the data manipulation and querying uh, module. It's just basically that web page. Um, so uh, this is some of the content that you you should have seen in the PowerPoints if you look through those. All right, so first we have a header. Um, we have a title. We have an author and a date, and then we have an output uh, with some parameters set. Here, instead of using the base um, R markdown render, I'm using a render available through RMD formats. And specifically, it's going to read, it's going to create a read the down type file. And these are some settings for that. So it's going to be self-contained. The images will be thumbnails with in a light box, and that you can move through them as a gallery. And the uh, script, will, the script or code will have the uh, uh, Tango uh, coloring scheme. All right. So again, most R Markdown files are going to start with some options. So I've created this R object, this code block object here. So we're calling it R, and with it, it's an it's an R um, script. We're get, calling it setup, and I'm not including it because it's just some background options. And then from K uh, or, or Knitter R, we're specifying some options using this set of code. So echo is equal to true. That means that it's going to uh, print the code and the results. Um, I'm going to prefix um, any output or comments with nothing. So there's not going to be um, a header like output is equal to or something. Uh, I'm going to collapse the code and any output into a single block as opposed to multiple block just to make it a little bit more concise. I'm, not have it, I'm going to not have it show warnings because I'm publishing a, a class page, so I want it to look fairly clean. And also, I'm not going to have it show any messages. OK, so here are some headers. So this is like a, 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 a header one, a header two. Here we have an ordered list. Um, again, another header. This is all just plain text. Um, within the plain text, if I have uh, the double asterisks here, that indicates bold. Here we have a single asterisk, asterisk that indicates italicize. Uh, here is an example of a link. So this, the words reference card, will, is going to be a link to that specific web page. Um, here we have some R script. So again, all the R scripts are going to be included in one of these. Let me move this down a little. Um, they'll be included in this block. So we'll have this string to initiate it and, and or to find it as code. And then we'll have this set to close the code block. Um, so that's your R script. And that's most of the um, components that we have here um, in this document anyway. This is an unordered list. All right, and then again, you can see some italicized features there um, throughout the, the script. So if you want to run just one single block of code from your R markdown, which again, you could do all of your assignments this way, you could make sure something up here we need first. Well, I guess I should run this. So that ran it. And then say I'm going to run this code block. And then it spits the output there underneath of it. And you can go through and run each code block that way. All right, so let's say that you have, you're happy with this, so you're ready to render it out to a page. So you can render it using the, the, um, the knit options. Another option, oop, accidentally hit my web browser there. Um, another option is to clear the console is to run it with uh, at the command line to create a web page. So we do r markdown, and then two colons, and then render site. And we're not going to put in any, uh, any parameters. And I'm just going to hit run, or enter, to run it. So now it's going to go through and render out that document as a web page. All right, so I'm going to go to that folder. Should be here on my desktop. 
So we have this site um, folder, and here's the web page. So that renders this out as a uh, read the down type file with this uh, table of contents off to the side and everything. You can see here that no warnings or error messages got printed in the code blocks because I told it not to, let me know I didn't want it to. All right, so that's an example of producing a web page, and that's effectively how I created all the modules with, you know, with, with the R examples for this course. It's actually pretty easy uh, once you've got a template in place. Um, if you wanted to say edit like the style, if you have some uh, understanding or knowledge of CSS, then you could go in and fiddle with that. So for the read the down type documents, if you go into this object, this is the CSS for it you could go in here and actually edit it and change the color. So that's how I got like the color schemes and whatnot I use uh, for the class. Just went in here and edited that. But again, you have to have some knowledge of CSS and whatnot to, to do that. So um, it's not necessary for the class, I'm just pointing it out. Okay, um, if you want to create a new blank markdown document, then you can do that in, in our studio. So if you go to File, New File, R Markdown, and then you've got a couple different options here for types of output. So uh, the default is HTML, so it's like a web page. Um, it also can run out PDF, Word documents. You can do different types of presentations like PowerPoint, Shiny, which is basically for like interactive web pages. Um, I'm just going to stick with HTML for now. Note again that uh, this was noted in the PowerPoint. If you want to render something to like a PDF, you've got to have like uh, uh, text or like latex um, installed on your system. You can give it a name. Let's call it example markdown and then an authorship and that'll generate a blank uh, file. So this cell has the default header so the title is set to the title of the R markdown document and the author that was provided and the current date and then um, is it going to be an HTML, e HTML uh, document output. And then everything else is pretty much the same. Again, this is just a blanket example that's produced for a web, web page when you create an R markdown file. Okay, so I'm going to go down here a little ways. Just to, again, point a few things out. Here we have the opener where we set up some options. Here all we're setting up is echo or echo is equal to true. So it's going to uh, publish the the code and the output uh, to the to the page. Again, there's a header. This is a different way to do a link. Uh, that's bold. And here we have some R um, some R uh, uh, code. Again, if these are the names associated with each code block. It, you, they need to be different names. You can't reuse names. If you do, it'll give you an error when you try to render it. Okay, so I'm not going to change this. So let's just render it out now with the default knitter options. So if you open this up, we have knit to PDF, knit to Word. We can set up some preferences and whatnot. Um, here I'm just going to knit again to HTML. And then it's asking me to save it. I'm just going to save it on my desktop. Example markdown and save okay so now it's going through and rendering that and it should automatically pop up in a in a HTML viewer so here we go so we have the by default the title authorship date here's our header our text our link um, this is a plot um, note again it's rendering out the code and the results Okay, so that's a quick overview of R Markdown. Um, I find, I really like R Markdown. It's it's once you figure it out, it's pretty intuitive. It's pretty fun. Um, you can generate pretty simple documents with it without a lot of headaches. There's also a lot of themes and templates that are available through R Markdown package and other packages. So I would highly recommend just playing with it. That's the best way to learn. And um, some of the assignments in the class you're going to be asked to deliver in an R Markdown format. So you're going to need to get somewhat familiar with it um, as you move along. All right, so I hope you found this helpful. And uh, again, just take some time to fiddle around and play with R Markdown. I think you'll find it to be pretty intuitive and actually pretty fun.